Hello there everyone, this is RC Fogarty with a, another edition of A Link to the Past. Um, pretty much last time we, uh, we fought Aghanim. We, uh, didn't quite defeat him as we wanted to to get revenge, uh, I get, essentially get revenge from with regards to what happened to Princess Zelda, but she's still alive apparently, which is good. Um, so here we are in the Dark World. Uh, as I mentioned last episode, a couple of things I wanted to do... And those Aegnum statues still creep me out no matter what happens. Uh, anywho, let's just carry on here. Hey. Whoa, I'm down to one heart already, oh my god. Okay, essentially what's with, in the Dark World here, the monsters are super freaking strong. Luckily we got a pretty good sword. However, we have no defense. Kind of like how the Green Bay Packers played last season. There we go, there we go, and just keep on going here. Huh. Alright, as I'm getting four and a half star commentary, we're just going through here. And, uh... And let's get, uh, get ourselves going. Um, first things first, we can go up here. Sure, we're going out of the way, not going toward a dungeon yet, but there's something we want to get here that we're definitely going to need, and that was not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do, though. No, not that! <laughs> I have no sense of direction, apparently. I just wanted to throw something that, uh... A circle of stones there, as you can see, and we have a giant fish. Was it you? It has stood my peaceful nap. I will give this to you if you go away. Okay, I'll take it. And behold, we have the Quake Medallion. This magic causes the ground to shake and defeats nearby enemies. Watch your magic meter. Good to know. Um... There's one other thing I wanted to do as well. Yes, I remember. We're actually going to go back to the light world briefly. Alright, so let's go here. And land on a rock and get sent back immediately. Let's go over here. There we go. Okay, we're just gonna do some touring around. As we've got the flippers, this is something I really didn't mention much. Uh, here we are on Lake Hylia, not really a place I wanted to go to, but well, take it for what it is. Alright. As we keep going, as we are still surviving somehow. Whoa, okay, the soldiers immediately got a huge strength boost. And the second I come in, they're they're ready to attack. They're right there. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go here. First things first, we're getting ourselves healed up. We're gonna get ourselves some potion too, why not? We can always use it first off, the free taste. Uh, yeah, yeah, yada, we know the red is motion of life, so we can use it, and we're gonna take this. And. Wow, I totally forgot to do stuff. Alright, so let's go on through here. Okay, as we're not even bothering to try to compensate anymore. <laughs> Alright. I know, I totally forgot to do this. There's actually another battle we can get from, uh, from this area here into that bridge. As most of you already know, and I'm being swarmed, I'm being chased. No, no, hey, I kill you, you don't kill me. There we go. Alright. And back into Lake Hylia, so we gotta take this river and just keep on going and going and going until we get under the bridge. And yeah, this is something I totally forgot to do because I'm that awesome. Anywho, as uh, we all can see here, we got this guy camping out. Sweet, camping under the bridge like a troll. But anywho, talk to this guy, wake him up from his nap. Yo, Link. You seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. And we get a bottle. Sweet. 
Sweet. We can always use it. Yeah, it works out. Anywho. And... And also a new feature in the Game Boy Advance version. You can dive. Anywho, let's just move around here. Okay, uh, there's also one other thing on Death Mountain that we're going to do. We're actually going to do a couple of things before we go back to the Dark Worlds. Oh, Lord, I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> Whoa, and there are ghosts in the cemetery now? Jeez. Okay, first things first. Okay. Oh, bees! Out of the way! <laughs> Run away! Oh, and as you can see, this tree here, when they were cutting, yeah, completely hollow. I was right. And it's covered up and it makes it look like a real, real tree, but yeah, it all works somehow. We can get a fairy there for store our health. And boom! Heart piece. Now let's get out of there, do this, do some fancy football work. And you can die too. All right. Okay, just go back to Death Mountain, and uh, okay, just climb on up. All right, let's see what the old man has to say now. Link, I think. Link, I think the wizard has created a portal between the two worlds somewhere near the castle. And same message. And it's really the last thing he's ever going to really say in this game, so it's not really important to be here. Um, and this is really going to be the last time we're coming to Death Mountain for a while anyway. Um, yeah, so let's keep on going. Alright, let's uh, go ahead here and do this. Go back up the stairs. And, uh... Just keep on going. And we now got a new enemy up here. Tech Tights. A whole bunch of new stuff happens the second you beat Aghanim. Because this is technically the second half of the game. Um, we're up in Death Mountain. And we're running real forward. The music is awesome here. Whoa, hey, you haven't transformed. You know what a guy, are you? Wow, your shape didn't change. You got the Moon Pearl, huh? Yes, I did. Okay, go take the mirror, go up here. Get ready to get the book on the door, buddy. And there we go. And we do this. Hold up the Master Sword and you get the magic of ether. <laughs> Behold the power of cold. And we got the ether medallion. Alright, so we got two medallions now. This is sweet. Alright. I think now we can finally take on the uh, Dark Palace. Because I think I got everything I'm ever going to need for the time being. Uh, I have everything I can think of for now. I could do a whole bunch of sequence breaking, but I don't feel like doing that. Yeah, I'm getting a little tired. I'm, yeah, I'm going to complete the Dark Palace quick. It's going to be a longer episode this time. And, uh, we'll go from there. Whoa, hey, birdies. And also here, fruit. Essentially restores hearts.
Alright, let's continue on here. And, uh... Yeah, probably the easiest place to go in the dark world now. So I don't remember why I have that thing. Oh, yeah, it's way up there in Death Mountain. Okay, guess what we're doing. Okay. Now, essentially, what we need to do is we need to, uh... I uh, take out that soldier with a ro with uh, sword beams and a rock, and run through here and welcome to the dark world. Yep, that is exactly the barrier uh, that uh, that portal is between the light and dark worlds. So easy way to actually get back here if you're in a, if your portal is in a very inconvenient spot like on Death Mountain. All right, so let's go on through here and these creepy statues with uh, some that looks like a triangle on them. Okay, get through all these tough enemies. And, uh, through here, and this is not where the dungeon is. This is this place. You're new here, aren't you? Did you come here looking for the power of gold? Well, you're too late. We'll only obey the first person who touches it. The man who last claimed the power of gold wished for this world. It reflected his heart. Yes, I came here out of greed for the golden power, and look what happened to me. To restore the Golden Land, a person worthy of the Golden Power must defeat the man who created, the, who created this place. Until that time, I'm stuck in this bizarre shape. But, what a mischief, mischievous thing to leave lying around. The Power of Gold. Triforce. And that's the first time we actually hear the word Triforce in this entire game. I mean, we're, all, we're always hearing things about the Power of Gold and all, that, and all that sort of stuff, but... We now know what it's actually called. The Triforce. Um, not surprised. So it all works out. Alright, take that guy out. There we go. And as my voice is starting to get hoarse here, haha. <laughs> okay. As we carry on. <sighs> I'm still tired as hell. Oh, what's this? Kiki the monkey. Kiki. I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare me ten rupees? What do you do? Give him ten rupees? Eh, you know, fine. It's ten bucks. Kiki, good choice. I'm company for one. Kiki. Okay. Now, the key here is to not take damage. To take damage, you gotta do the whole thing over again, which sucks. Anywho, then we make up our money here, and then we're at the Dark Palace, which is blocked. Kiki, you give me 100 rupees. I'll open the entrance for you, Kiki. What do you do? Ask me to open it. Um, you know what? You're a total jerk. I hate you. I don't want to hit you with my sword. But, you know what? I need to get into that palace anyway. Kiki, good choice. Then I get, then I get 100 year rupees. Kiki. Eh, fine. Just get into this damn palace. Alright, as the door opens, as it flips around, let's go in. Level 1, Dark Palace. Okay, now this room itself is built exactly like the, uh... East Palace in the, uh... Into the past. Alright. Into the past. The Light World. <laughs> well, I am... I am totally amazing today. Anywho... Got the key there. Go through here, and... Somehow manage to not get hit by the, uh beams there. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, that one I can't move. Okay, get through there. Alright, get through there, get through here. There's nothing here other than the uh, way open the door. However, we can just do this. Oh, yeah, the magic mirror, too, so that works out, too. Alright, we're going down the stairs here into a room with portals and those guys. However, I've got magic powder this time, so you know what happens? You get a chance to show this before, and I'm not going to be able to show it. I'm definitely not going to be able to show it. I'm just wasting magic, because I have no way. And there we go. And those guys, they turn into fairies. But I used to bath my manager just doing that. That is awesome. Oh, hey, is this Sarala again? Another message? 
let's check it out. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. I'm locked in Turtle Rock on top of Death Mountain. I know you're doing your best, but please hurry. Will do. Good to know that you're alive. Oh, and I'm getting hit by these guys again. And, uh... Hey, hey! Hey! Quit eating my magic. You're not allowed to eat my magic. And certain things are allowed to eat my magic, and that's not you guys. You all know that for a fact. Anywho, let's just keep on going through here. And we need our arrows. There we go. Just take them all out. Get some arrows back. Get our heart, because we need it. I would really use some magic more than anything. But oh well. Okay, and then we're in this room, we get the map. And actually we're gonna test out I wanna do some testing here. Now I probably just wasted a whole ton of magic. These guys are not gonna go down because they don't Oh good lord, I Okay, that is folly number one today. There's probably more follies to come. Anywho. Anywho. Let's go through here. Go through there. This room gives us a chest. The other room gives us fairies. Although we can always use fairies, we need magic more. But, so oh well, because I made a mistake with using Quake. Probably should have gone with Ether, but that wouldn't have done anything because they would have split into two pieces anyway, which would have screwed things over anyway. Oh well. Carrying forth though. <clears throat> Just go through here. The fast way is to actually use the mirror, but I like doing this. So it's the way I operate. It's the way I always do it every uh, during every playthrough I do with this game. Uh, so let's go up here, avoid that guy, go back up the stairs. Alright. There we go, we got a couple of keys, we're gonna open this door. Go on through, and I hate these red... I hate these red turtles. I do not like those red turtles. They, uh, are evil. Anywho... As we blow this up, falls to the next floor down. There are a couple of things we're going to need to do here. First off, we need to open up this door. And what do we have in this chest here? We have the big t the big key. The big cheese. <laughs> and standing stuff. Oh my god, I didn't just do that. Alright. Oh my god. Ah! Okay, we got Stealthos falling around. Oh, ouch. Hey. Away from me. Away from you, all those bastards. Okay, we got the key. There's no room for hearts or anything that sort. There's one, and two, and just go through here. Thank God. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that is me not paying attention. I am, I'm really tired. Second I'm done with this dungeon, I'm calling it a session. Okay. Okay. Okay, and we're just going to go up this way, pick up the skull pots, and just charge and charge and charge. And not like a charge card. Alright, go through here, and we go into the darkness. Oh, finally, this palace actually lives up to its name. Whoa, and those rhinos are and those fire breathing guys are green now. Nah, okay, bastards. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, damn it. Okay, go here. Bombs. Always use them. Always a good thing to have. Okay. Get that chest. I think that contains a key. It does. Dun 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 dun.
Oh, and I got hit by my own bomb. Jesus. Okay, and in this chest we get the magic hammer. Although it's not really magic, more than it's just a hammer. But we now can drive wooden stakes in the grounds. Plus we can use it as a weapon, which is amazing. And we get to demonstrate this in a little bit. Okay. Okay, there we go. We go through this room, which is totally optional. But you know what the hammer's used for? These guys primarily. And they're gonna start attacking. And just gotta hit those guys just right, because otherwise they're gonna screw you over badly, and I'm gonna get that chest later. Hey, you know what? I'm actually gonna take a break for the time being. I'm going to call this an episode. I'm getting too tired. Alright, we're going to continue where we left off. Um, in the meantime, I will see you guys later. Have a good night.